Howdy heroes and welcome to episode 22 of the... Was that necessary? <laughs> oh, that just hit me the wrong way. I'm sorry, it just hit me the wrong way. It was howdy heroes. It was terrible. <laughs> I'll hit you the wrong way in a fucking minute. Right, let's start again. Hit your Here mom the right way. I started your mom again. Shut up. <laughs> beep, beep. I say howdy heroes because it's for the guest heroes, okay? They're the ones that come and make our site great. Howdy heroes, they're the heroes. Say, That's the point. Hey, heroes, not howdy. If everyone's right, a hero, right, right. who are we saving? Shut up, here we go. Okay, we're saving <laughs> straw <laughs> gamers. That's what the guys right. are for, you little cunt. There's villains out there. Like Fuck IGN. off. We have to bring uh, them I'm, down. No, no, I, I agree with that point. Don't put that in the podcast, though. Right, here we go. <laughs> Hi, heroes, and welcome to episode 22 of the Gamers Heroes Suck My Controller podcast. So please be aware, this episode does contain vulgar language like the rest of them, so if you're easily offended, please turn off Fuck now. Off. I'm, no, no, you've got to wait <laughs> to the end of the disclaimer before swearing. You fucking dipshit. Anyway, anyway, I'm Captain Camper. I'll be your host for this episode. I'm joined by Ryan McBride. Howdy, heroes. <laughs> Howdy, Hurricane. <laughs> hey, y'all. Jake Rose. <laughs> Yo. Right, the first section of our podcast is Ryan McBride's fucking What Did We Do This Week? So, Ryan, what did you do this week? So, it's, it's story time, right? Me and Jake worked for a really long night. I was sleeping hey, on the couch, right? All of a sudden, there's a knock at the front door. Okay. Oh, we have sound effects now. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> so I get my ass up. I normally when I sleep, I sleep in boxers and a t-shirt. So I kind of like creak open the door, and it's my apartment manager. And she's like, "Hey, I've got a couple people here to see the apartment. Can we come in?" And I was like, I just woke up. I'd only gotten like four hours of sleep. I was like, fine. Like I, and then I start to struggle to put my pants on, right? Mm-hmm. So I've got my pants kind of like half buttoned, half like my belt kind of on. These people come in. And I forgot my girlfriend had just done her laundry. So there's like fucking female underwear on all of the doors. And I must have looked like such a pervert. Shame on you, Ryan. So that was it. <laughs> Nothing? That Nobody? was the punchline? Yeah. Wow, dude. That was like two and a half minutes of total boredom. <laughs> They'd probably assume that you've got a girlfriend. They're not going to assume, damn, this guy's had 73 girls in here in the last month. <laughs> He's doing their laundry for him. What a nice guy. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah. Jesus. Why, why were they looking at Was she trying to sell your house while you're still in it? Yeah. Oh. That's a bit harsh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyway, next, next. I suppose Johnny Hurricane, what did you do this week? <laughs> There was an army of geese in my front lawn this what? morning. You guys in fucking oh, bird. Don't, don't go know. into geese noise again. No, no, it wasn't like that. They were like quacking at each other. Those yeah. are ducks. Well, no, it was the geese <laughs> quack, you know? What were the, why geese again? Because they fucking woke me up earlier today, like before the podcast. I was like, I'm going to get eight hours of sleep finally. And I was like, nope. Fucking and asshole with the geese. The place. Exactly. All of the <laughs> dog was freaking out, and there were there were like forty of the fuckers just squeaking at each other, and I was like, "Come on, Is it a big dog." He's getting fat. Yeah, <laughs> open the door and let him chase him, dude. Oh yeah, no, that's what I did. Nice. But I had to get up, you know, and I was like, "Ah, this is fucking dumb." So it took like twenty minutes out of my day, and I couldn't get back to bed. So the general consensus from all of, all of us here at Gamers here is we don't like ducks or geese. Fuck, <laughs> fuck geese. Fuck fuck him. Him. What about you? What about you, Jake? What have you done this week? I had jury duty all week. Have you guys uh, ever done that before? Yeah. Nope. No. It's against yeah, my religion. So, I have to do it. It's what's that? It's against my religion. I have to do it. Really? That's bullshit. I should have tried That's that. I put in the letter when they sent me the letter and haven't contacted me since, so I think I got away with it. He's a gypsy. He doesn't. Well, like, <laughs> fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so this is the third time I've been called. The first two times, um, I just think, admit this. I'm yeah, right. But I'm gonna. I don't care. Come find me. I dare you. Um, oh, oh. Give your full yeah. Name so the first head. two times, no, you guys give my full name. That's not my real name. Um, oh, no. Oh. no, God, no. What are you crazy? Anyways, why do you make yeah. that name up? What? what? Jake Rose isn't really a cool name, is it? No, it's the coolest name ever. What Captain Camper's about? a real cool name. <laughs> yeah, right. Johnny Hurricane, right? You just destroyed <laughs> half of America. How do you feel? No. 
Is that too soon? Was that too soon? Yeah. Well, yeah. Well, but much love to all the Americans. I do feel deeply for you. Anyway, anyone who's inflicted in them zones, we are very sorry for that. Anyway. That was, that was a bit harsh <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so this was like my third time they've called me, and the last two times I just kind of said, eh, fuck it, I'm not getting up. And, um,. They started sending me, like, threatening letters, like, a year ago, saying, like, if you don't show up, we're going to arrest your ass. Um, <laughs> so I decided it was time to finally go in, and uh, I got there, and it's the scariest place I've ever been. Like, it's just shady people as far as the eye can see. <laughs> so I see a window that says juror, so I step up to it, and uh, this not-so-patient woman comes up and is like, uh, uh, give me your ticket. And I'm like, excuse me? She's like, give me your ticket. I was like, I'm just looking to be a juror. She's like, did you get your ticket? And was, I don't have a golden ticket from Willy Wonka, lady. And she was like, <laughs> well, she's like, well, if you don't have your ticket, you, I can't pay you. And I was like, I'm not here to get paid. I'm here to be on the jury. She's like, oh, so you haven't done it yet? No. So I said, I just need to know where to go. Please, God, I, I need out of the <laughs> place. And... So she just points <laughs> behind me, <laughs> and so I go in that direction, and I sit down, and I'm sitting there, I, I start to have the feeling I'm in the wrong place, because they start marching, like, handcuffed gangbangers by me, which was okay at first, <laughs> but then they sat, like, this cholo dude, like, right next to me, and I was like, oh, I gotta get out of here. <laughs> so, yeah, like, I I get up, and, um... I start wandering off, but what I did notice was, like, America's, like, equal opportunity in prisoners, because there was, like, every part of the rainbow there, like, it was just crazy. I think there was an Eskimo at one point. <laughs> swear to God, like, it was the I scariest... I don't think Eskimo is politically correct. Yes, it is. Inuit. Inuit. No, Inuit. Inuit. What Inuit. Correct, Come on, dude, don't well, be did, racist did, now. Did he have, like, the puffy coat on and everything? <laughs> or? <laughs> He's got a nice fuck teeth and stuff. <laughs> Oh, yeah, and like I just don't know how I'd tell an Inuit apart from <laughs> I don't know if I should share this or not, but like there's like an eight and a half month Mexican chick just handcuffed to the seat we were sitting on. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know how. And yeah, so finally I wander off. I find where I'm supposed to go, and I lucked up that day because uh, they sat me down and they were about to do the questionnaire, and the lady was like, she said, "Yeah, they struck a plea deal. You can go home." So. I sat on a scary bench for 15 minutes, and they paid me $14, and that was my week. What about you, Smith? Did you do anything this week since everybody else had a story? I had time this week, but, you know, I'm not going to sit here after we've already had 15 minutes. People have tuned in for the gaming podcast and sitting there thinking, where the fuck is the gaming shit? Oh, come on. We had good geese stories. We had very pregnant Mexican stories. I'm not going to bore you with the rest of the stuff I did this week because two out of three of those stories were boring. So um, we'll just move straight on to the next section of our podcast, oh. which actually involves gaming. What have we been playing this week? So uh, first what of all, been playing? Uh, leave the jingles, dude. You're going to look like Balls an idiot in the animated podcast when your guy just kicks <laughs> his head back and starts singing. <laughs> so uh, what 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 else have you played this week, Ryan? I played a little bit of the Need for Speed Most Wanted game. Uh, how's that? Not that good. Oh, really? Uh, well, I guess I shouldn't say not that good. The single player is not that good. Huh. The multiplayer is actually fantastic. But the huh. single player, but there's a lot of things about it that just make it boring and kind of tedious. You just have to go around, find a car, and basically there's whoop, <laughs> there's five races for each car that give it like upgrades. So you might be doing the same race over and over again with different cars. Which is kind of boring. Yeah, oh yeah, that does, that is, that does get boring. The cops now, isn't it, right? Cops and helicopters and the, shit? The cops are fucking annoying. You'll be in a race, and then all of a sudden a cop will come out of nowhere and smash your car, and then you have to restart the race because there's no way you're going to do well in it. Is it potentially just because you suck? No, it's the game. Well, maybe that could be our next episode for uh, UK versus USA. Yeah. Yeah. You can do that. Yeah. I'll fucking take you on. Let's go, bitch. How did worms go for you, by the way? Well, in yeah, all, yeah, fairness, search, search, blah, 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 blah. all fairness, I killed half my team in the first turn. <laughs> yeah, that video should be up Jesus on YouTube Christ. within the next week, guys, so make sure you check that out as well. That's enough for the Need for Speed shit. Well, what's PID? PID is a very cool game from uh, Might and Delight. 
It's a uh, 2D side scroller where you basically throw down these little pills that uh, have these like beams of light. So basically, you use these beams of light to travel to different areas, and it's really cool. You should check that out. Anyway, anyway, mm-hmm. we'll see. Yeah, I had an that. interesting experience with a friend on that last night. We were heading to this army base that's quite out of the way. There's a big bridge going across it. As we went across the bridge, and then we see a bunch of German chat in chat. You know, I don't speak German. And then Jet, who's a semi-regular podcast listener and visits the site on occasion. Hi, Jet. He, uh, he speaks, he's Norwegian, but he speaks a slight bit of German. He was able to translate, basically, was... We told his friends where we were and to shove an M249 up our ass is basically what he said. And two or three minutes later, we're just walking through these trees and like these four guys come up. This is four on two. I've got a pistol with eight bullets. He's got a pistol with like 12. We end up taking these guys out in a four on two battle. I die because Jet shot me in the back of the head. <laughs> you know, friendly fire kind of sucks. We took these four guys out, got some massive amounts of loot and then got back to the safe zone. That's arguably the best experience I've had in that game so far. Um, if you've not checked it out, Check the website. There is a tutorial on zombies and how to escape them. So make sure you check that. And I suppose the uh, the more exciting version of our what we've been playing this week will be between Johnny Hurricane and Jake. What have you guys been playing this week? Assassin's, Assassin's Creed. Creed. As with everyone else. So what's it like? It's sexy. Yeah, I'm it's really sexy. enjoying it. Admittedly, I think I think you play the first guy a little too long. I was kind of ready to be into Connor quickly. The first guy's Haytham, and he's like he's a guy from Europe, and he's Connor's dad too. So, Connor's daddy. Yep. I heard Connor's daddy's kind of a piece of shit. Well, I wouldn't want to spoil anything for anybody. <laughs> oh shit! Well, it's a bit early, well, it's a bit early for spoilers. Well, I mean, it's yeah. I mean, it's nothing more than they said. Like he's a half um half Indian, half white kid. So something had okay. to happen there. A lot of people complain about the amount of uh, bugs and glitches in it. Have you guys come across many or? I fell through the map once, and uh, oh. did that no. for like, yeah, I did that for like two minutes until I desynchronized it. But then I just spawned back right where it was, and everything was fine. But cool. Overall, you guys don't think it's any more glitchy than your average AAA release, no? No, yeah. in fact, I think it's much better in a lot of cases. Yeah. I mean, I've had... That's, that's peculiar. Because there is literally... I've seen hundreds of threads on forums, big news sites, they're all saying um, that the game is great, We but should fun. probably say that Jake and I are both playing on PS3. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah so I don't if you're on the 360, the majority then of people are playing on 360. Yes, you deserve glitches if you're playing on the 360. Right. Fuck you. Which is odd. Which is odd because normally the 360 version runs better. Without spoiling any any serious sort of plot spoilers in that story, gameplay, all fucking solid. No no issues with the game oh, whatsoever. Definite buy. I do. I love the Definite combat. Definite buy. What 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 are you using for your main weapon most of the time? Most, I uh, dude, I love that. I love my tomahawk. I do. Yeah, I can't. I can't. Yeah, that's exactly what I use. When you tip a guy over and then you like chop his nuts off. Like, yeah. The other like, one what? I like is when you're uh, when you're comboing uh, kills. There's one where he like uppercuts behind him with the tomahawk and he gets like right under his skin and he just pulls it out forward. Yeah. Fucking cool. I love that one. Um, yeah, the combat's good. I mean, it once you learn who you're fighting, it. it, it becomes pretty system systematic yeah you know what to do like the captains instead of just countering them you have to counter disarm and then you can fuck them up shit like that but you know it's still good it's you know when you got 50 of them come at you it's fun and but yeah. it, you know the Sounds combat is such a small part of it like the game is so fucking massive that you well, what about the, a, um, you the can get lost for hours <laughs> the boat the naval combat that's supposed to be quite a big feature this one isn't it Dude, that should be a game by itself. Yeah, it's really it's good. It's so good. It's, and it's so, not even so like, good. It's not even part of the main mission for the most part. Like, it's a little side thing you can do. It's so in-depth. Like, lear- you have to, like, make sure the wind's at the right spot. You can't go into the wind. And, like, even little tricks you'll find that they don't tell you about. Like, so if you do have to turn straight into the wind, if you take all your masts down, you can still kind of float forward. Otherwise, you get stopped pretty quick. Yeah, it's so deep. It really is. It's so fun. Big question. Is it going to be able to top Call of Duty for game of the year? Oh, yeah. I Call of Duty is shit. Consider, yeah. well, Call of Duty Halo. is normally not a game of the year. Halo 4 is going to blow out everything. So. No, I don't think Halo 4 is even in contention okay, this year. Fan boy. What are you talking about? Dude, it's, the Dude, reviews are out, man. Play, a lot of people play Xbox. A lot of people love Halo. I think it just has to be marginally good for fanboys to jizz all over it. Yeah, so I don't think they expect much because it's just oh, Master Chief, <laughs> splat. Whatever. What about what about the homesteads? That seems to be quite a 
A big guide yeah. on the website, by the way, guys. There is a yeah. homestead guide that seems to be quite a popular topic. So explain explain to us a bit about the homesteads then. Where's the homestead guide at? Gamersheroes.com. No sexy Gamers people. Heroes! Dude, I'm going to make the, the animator make you look so stupid when you say that that you're going to stop doing it. Then I'll be I want the the, the can I say something? I want the no. animator to make you Nigel Thornberry. Too late. <laughs> well, the animator's already done the pictures, dude. I've seen the character design. I see. If you've ever viewed our fucking <laughs> Facebook, you'd know that, you little dick. I don't know how to use Facebook. Facebook. I don't have uh, Facebook. No, no, Facebook. Anyway, Johnny, Hurricane, you're the only fucking <laughs> sensible woman here. What's, what's the homestead shit all about, dude? Uh, basically, you offer to help build up build up this guy's area. He's got, like, just a manor. And <laughs> there's these lumberjack brothers, and one's on a log, and it's going down the river really quickly. And after you save him, Connor basically offers him, you know, hey, you can stay here or whatever. And then from there bunch of things pop up on the map and you go get them and you get more people and the more people you have the more things you can craft the more things you can craft the more money you can make and the more upgrades you can get like you know it's a good little distraction oh before we move on the one thing i do want to complain about in a real way there is something in this game called the common man's almanac or no encyclopedia or something yeah it's common man's mm-hmm. encyclopedia it's a side quest and um Essentially, what you're told to do is you go around your homestead and learn how all these different professions work. And this is all done randomly and takes forever. Is it an achievement thing, or is there any point to actually getting it complete? Or I don't. It's a side quest, so if you're wanting to like 100 percent it, you the have homestead. to do it. Yeah, it's part of the homestead mission. I just want to play the game. I don't want to, you know. So overall, when, very positive. Other than that one little shit bit. Yes. Yeah, no, very, very positive. Just, I don't know, who had that idea needs to be fired? Forward wow. down an email. <laughs> <laughs> Big news this week, I think I'll go to Ryan McBride. To be honest, I'm, I don't even want to talk about this because it's going to hurt me in the core, but go ahead, Ryan, what's the big news? Is this actually gaming? I suppose it is. Yeah, go on. Disney acquired Lucasfilms and LucasArts for $4.05 billion. Ugh. George Lucas need more money. <laughs> well, what is my what you've got? If someone says I give you four billion dollars, you take it. Firstborn son, house, family, film studio, whatever. Take it. Four billion dollars is good. I mean, they have come out and said that there will be Star Wars Episode Seven by 2015. Are we going to see guest appearances from Mickey Mouse? I could just see like like what what they did with Kingdom Hearts for RPGs. They're going to do with Star Wars for movies and just throw in random Disney characters all over the place. Ha uh-huh. ha. I am your father, huh? <laughs> you know what I mean? this, I'm not too sure about this. I don't, I don't want another Star Wars film. I like it how it is. They work. You like one, two, and three? I like all. I of mean, them. two and three are okay, but they're no. It's not. I'm not too keen on this. But the first movie. one is terrible. Wait, where's the gaming news in here? Have they, have they announced something? There is some like speculation on what this means for games. Um, Star Wars 2013 was something that was shown a while ago. Mm-hmm. It's I for it was uh, 13. 13. Maybe it's thirteen, thirteen. Well, either way, it's the next gen Star Wars game. That is pretty much they have said is not going to be touched or changed or in any way. Uh, they did say that they do want to do a lot more of licensed stuff, so they're going to license out the Star Wars name a little bit more, which could be good. I mean, if they license out be. to a really good like studio, we could get another really good Star Wars game coming up here. Yeah, but it's just you know, Lucas Arts, they're behind the Old Republic. Lucas Arts, is that right? Old Republic, pretty sure. Yeah. yeah. Force Unleashed, Battlefront, those kind of games. Yeah. I like all those games. I don't know. I mean, Disney. What fucking games have Disney released that are worth playing? Um, there's a lot. But, I, I mean, what they're well, saying I mean, is they're going to they're gonna license it out to different studios. They're not saying that Disney Studios is necessarily going to make the game, that they're going to license it out to other people. Well, but maybe we'll see, you know, if, if maybe, because obviously they're willing to spend some money if they just spent $4 billion, I might just suppose that's pocket change to Disney, isn't it? I guess because they bought they bought Marvel for four billion mm-hmm. not that long ago. Buy everybody, just fucking throw money around. I don't yeah. like Disney owning Star Wars. That freaks me out. They didn't, here's the one, here's the one thing about the Star Wars movies. Like at least if you are a Star Wars fan, there is promise of more stuff coming up. Yeah, but yeah, it's just, I don't want more stuff. I don't want a fucking little fucking floating castle and a little star to go over the top Disney and then Star Wars. It just doesn't go together. Well, I mean, it's still technically Lucas Films or Lucas Arts. Like, they're not going to lose that name. It's not necessarily going to be a Disney movie. Because that company owns, what, ABC, ESPN, like everything. It's not necessarily going to change. It's just they are going to put money into it to make sure that content is coming out. I think they're just going to throw the Disney logo on everything and leave it as it is. <laughs> just slap <laughs> gears on some stuff, put it on a fucking lunchbox and make more money off it. <laughs> 
So, I'm standing away from the sort of the movie Disney thing. Is there any news on the Nintendo front? You know it. Oh, we go. <laughs> <laughs> dickhead. Nintendo debuts its first Wii U commercial for the U.S. Have that. Yeah, it. yeah it's uh, <laughs> it's not very good. Oh, uh, <laughs> we'll figure. Brilliant. The, com- the commercial mentions two times how you will play next. <laughs> <laughs> uh, if you got the premium package, they announced what that discount's going to be on downloadable titles. For every $50 that you spend, you're going to get $5 back. That's nice. Ooh. Here's the problem. So instead of like uh, it automatically being tracked on your Nintendo account, you're going to have to go to a different website and I think register the games that you downloaded and then you have to get a code from that site and put it in the Wii U to get your $5 back. It seems like it's a process that is overly elaborate to get people to actually not take advantage of it. The Wii U's come in what? Two weeks? Three it's weeks? It's fucking close, yeah. Yeah, I'm looking forward to getting that. I back. believe, it's, right? It's two weeks. Yeah. So we'll have a ton of content on the site, all sorts of shit, so make sure you check that out. Gamersheroes.com. Shut up. Yeah. Would, what game is you? Would you, would you, <laughs> would you guys like an unboxing video? Let us know. Dude, why do people watch those? <laughs> yeah, right. People, people, like, hey, if you want an unboxing video and see Ryan's chubby face get all happy as unwraps a kid's toy, please let us know and we will get back to you. <laughs> Speaking of kid's toy, when does that kid's toy come out? What day? Uh, You're Sunday. just trying to get the same Sunday the... 18th. Sunday the 18th. Who released and the for everybody that's disappointed, Sunday. you only have to wait a month and four days until the world ends, according to the Mayans. So you don't have to live with your regret that long. <laughs> We're going to do a special edition End of the World podcast. <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> Dude, I just say we, everybody gets blitzed just yeah. on anything they feel like. It's just the yeah, end of the world. Right. Who cares? I'm going to pop a hooker. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to kick a baby. Oh, hey. Damn right. Okay, then, so let's move on before we really start pressing the wrong buttons. Um, Jake, have you got any news this week? All right, I'm going to do this rapid fire. Uh, Bethesda is teasing new Skyrim DLC. They put out a screenshot, cool-looking headshot. Um, they're speculating it might just be called Dragonborn. Uh, they announced Paper Mario si- Sticker Star Pokemon Edition. It seems pretty boring. It just It's stickers. That game looks really good. Shut the fuck oh, up. Oh, it does. I, don't get me wrong, but like you get a sticker book. Yep. Um, and then the last thing is uh, GameStop VP pled guilty to $2 million in embezzlement from the company. <laughs> yeah, he faces up to 20 years in prison, but only a $250,000 fine, which doesn't make sense to me when he stole $2 million, But <laughs> Got to make a profit. <laughs> <You're right. laughs> yeah. Any questions about those stories? Because I have no other information on any of them. No, I, every time you do a news podcast, I just kind of stop listening. Okay, Johnny, any news this week? Yeah, uh, just to hit on something we talked about last week, GTA Five is confirmed for spring 2013 now. So yep, yep. we don't Officially know. Officially, Rockstar official. Yeah. Yep. Okay, good to hear. And you can actually pre-order it tomorrow, I believe. Today on the podcast. Is that all the news you got this week, Johnny? Yeah, that's all I got. Okay, I haven't really got much either. Uh, Modern Warfare Four has been confirmed. I don't know if you guys knew that or not, or care. Yeah. <laughs> I, yeah. Like it, like it wasn't assume. going to be confirmed. Right, yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Someone needed to tell us that. So is that end the news? Nobody else got any news to pick up on? I guess that's it. Okay, then the next section, I suppose, would be what's launching this week. We've really not got much. Um, what are Angel you talking Birds, about? We got the Star- game of the year. My Little Jeez. Pony, welcome to Ponyville. Yep. <laughs> oh, that was what I was going to talk about. There's this weird culture of bronies I'm finding out about now. <laughs> it's like men that bronies. watch My Little Pony. Yeah, bronies. These, oh. It's like dudes that watch My Little Ponies and like the cartoon and like jerk it to it i guess they're called cloppers it's the coolest yeah, name ever <laughs> yeah oh, really? so um how did you find out about it was just on one of the sites you regularly visit was it i you, i just fell into like a weird hole on google and all of a sudden it was cloppers <laughs> and yeah <laughs> weird hole weird. On google, it can happen <laughs> I oh, see, so you see there, the Dragon Ball Z Budokai HD that's quite intriguing to me I don't, i'm not usually keen on the hd stuff but i did like Budokai. Um, Halo 4, four motherfucker. Oh. NASCAR, NASCAR. Um, it's pretty much Halo 4 week, isn't it, really? Halo 4, Halo fucking 4. Just, yes is all I was after. Yes. Yes, so no other, no other interest <laughs> for this week other than Halo, and the only person here that's going to play it is Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to love it. Because the rest of us have got a man's console, you understand? 
So whatever. I'll still be All right. Playing next section. Pick of the week. Halo Four. Dragon Ball Z Budokai HD Collection. <laughs> I'd have to go with Halo Four for pick of the week as well. Yeah. Jake. Jake. Yeah, geez. I'm still going with My Little Pony because, just because it's on like uh, iPod and iPad, so the cloppers can jerk it in public now. <laughs> oh, we're going to make, gonna it, find make their fetish even more creepy by doing it in public. What's I'm going to look more of this for this, this cloppers thing. I'm going to Google this after the podcast. I'm quite intrigued. Oh my god. <laughs> so, uh, anyway, <laughs> to close out, we usually uh, fall on the questions. Um, Jason Butler and Retro Mikey have been at it again with a bunch of questions on Facebook. Thank you for that, guys. Um, We'll start with Jason Butler. Any news or thoughts on Dead Island Riptide? Anyone know anything about that? Mm, new Dead Island? Ah. I didn't care ah. about the first one. I know everybody loved it. I didn't give a shit, so no. Um, I don't really know much about it. It was very repetitive, so. But it was fun. Yeah, yeah, I enjoyed it. Same. I didn't really, didn't really enjoy it all that much after the first few hours. But as far as I know, the release date was confirmed for like April 26, 2013. And again, there's people skeptical whether fucking Germany's going to get it because last time they got screwed, so... If you're German, tough luck there. You'd have to... Well, I'm not going to say it. You're going to have to find alternative ways to get the game. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we, don't, we don't endorse those here, but, you know, I'm sure you know what we're talking about. Um, it's obviously got a new character. Fucking nay. John Morgan, that was it. There we go. He's, he's your typical ex-military badass that knows Kung Fu. Uh-huh. Uh, yep. Other than that, I don't really know much about it. Obviously, it's a new island. Um, I've, I've, I've not done much search. on This is just stuff I knew already. I'm not sure if they've released any information on skills and everything stuff like that but yeah overall looking pretty much samey just new characters yeah. new. but yeah I'm, I mean I gotta see more before I'm gonna become interested in it yeah yeah they definitely need to push the boundaries on the previous one the previous one did also have the best commercial ever I don't recall yeah. the commercial you, you don't remember the ad that they ran where it was like this slow motion thing in the hotel oh the yeah zombies coming like after him way better than yeah that was one of the game. that's one of the best trailers I've ever seen yeah yeah, yeah. Because it's like, it's the zombie apocalypse in reverse. Yeah. Very yeah. Cool. Have you seen a game trailer for a game called Outlast is the next question oh, from yes. Jason Butler. Yes, so I, I have, I have. Oh, no, 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 bitch, this is me, motherfucker. No, <laughs> it's me. Where are they based? Red Barrels is who made it. <laughs> yeah, where are they where based? Where are they based? Oh, where, where are, are they, they based? Oh, I don't know. Country. Off the top they, of my head, I don't know. Fucking useless. Step aside, bitch. Okay, okay you know where they're there, from. Right? Yeah, they're founded in fucking Montreal. They're an independent gaming studio that are hoping to yeah, provide unpredictable single-player experiences. That's a direct copy from their fucking press release list, bitch. You don't have access to that shit, do you? No, fuck you. <laughs> it's going to be set inside the Mount Massive Asylum in the Colorado Mountains as players take on the role of independent journalist Miles Upshur. Um, <laughs> it's, it's, it's sort of following a Resident Evil approach as the Murkoff Corporation have been conducting top-secret research in the old asylum, so you're probably going to get all this other jazz. They're sort of stepping away from the typical zombie approach, giving their enemies brains and... Thinking abilities, although while still maintaining the monster level. Um, as far as I know, if I remember rightly, they've got some pretty big names involved in the development. Prince of Persia, Splinter Cell, Assassin's Creed, Uncharted. You know, they've got some big guys from some big games working on it. So it's looking pretty good. It's PC exclusive, digital download in 2013. No exact release date yet. Anything to add to that, Jake? I yes. Win. So the game, from what it looks like now, is really reminiscent of a. Uh, this uh, company called uh, Frictional Games. They made this uh, two games. One's called Amnesia: The Dark Descent, and the I others, uh, it, the others called Penumbra. Game. These are the scariest games around. Penumbra and uh, Amnesia: The Dark Descent. It is as scary as it gets. Kind of looks like how they're building Outlast a little bit. If you've Did never you... seen it, guys, I highly recommend. Yeah, Amnesia's fucking freaky. Like you, all of a sudden, like. As you're in the darkness, you just go slowly more and more insane, and like creepy yeah. stuff starts to happen. That game fucks with like your the head. Sound of that. I'm gonna have to look at that one. Yeah, Moving on yeah. from that now. Looking forward to our last. Actually, thank you for the additional information there. You cunt. <laughs> with the release releases of Black Ops 2, Medal of Honor: Warfire, which has flumped quite considerably, and the rumor, which is actually confirmed now, of Modern Warfare 4. Do you think military FPS games are getting a little overplayed? Yeah. Are they seem to see the wayside as the World War II shooters did. A no. little overplayed? No, a lot <laughs> overplayed is... Um, yeah, I'm done with them. On? Yeah. And with the exception of Battlefield, I've, I've kind of seen it all and don't care to with see With the anymore. exception of a modern FPS. <laughs> yes. Well, the best, it's the best one. <laughs> it's not the best one. Yes, it is. What's better? Oh, it's better. All matter of perspective. Yeah, I've personally pledged never to buy another fucking Call of Duty game on the PS3. I'm going to yeah, buy one on the PC now. instead. 
<laughs> Last question from Mr. Butler. Um, slightly, be careful, slightly be cautious of your answers here. Do you guys ever use emulators to get in some retro gaming? I personally like to revisit games like Shadowrun for the SNES and Syndicate Wars for the PS1. Now, personally... Both are good games, by the way. You know, my, my, my Nintendo runs my, my Game Boy and it runs out of batteries quite often, so, you know, I'll quite often pick up a Pokemon in an emulator because I own the game. So occasionally I do. What, what about you guys? Uh, I... <laughs> <laughs> Um, well, Jake, Jake owns most of those games. Yeah, so. like, I'm a huge retro geek in that uh, I just buy the old consoles and play them on the old system. Like, I've been doing this thing where I have people pick, like, their favorite game from when they grow up, and then I'll go through and play it, so... Um, Red yeah. and Stimpy for the Sega thing. Actually, Aladdin for the Genesis. Aladdin I don't have on the Genesis, but I have it on my SNES. No, it's a better version on the Genesis, dude. Okay, I'll get it. The retro gaming and the emulators. You know, it's it's real tough, but I try to stay away from stuff like that. Unless I own it at a time. I <laughs> <laughs> like really try not to put our foot in it here. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you really should try. A lot of these... You can find these games. <laughs> yeah, go and purchase them so you can play them legally. Because everyone's I mean, you watching can. you. Like, every place has that little game hit store. Right. Or go to Craigslist. It's fun. It's like a treasure hunt. Yeah. Yep. What about you, Johnny? You pirate a lot of games? <laughs> nope. <laughs> okay, good. All right. All right, so no one wants to get arrested <laughs> or fucking sued or anything like that. Any plugs this week? Um, Pick up site for Assassin's Creed 3 guides. More will be coming oh, up because cool, now nice. i got some days off. That's right, they're going crazy already. You've got some good oh, feedback from the oh, viewers. And thank, yeah, yeah, thanks to all the guys that are helping with uh, the Homestead guy, like AC Binger, and then who's the new guy? The new guy that posted a fuck ton. <laughs> <laughs> fuck ton is probably more politically a correct way of doing that, but it's, it's you guest heroes that make our guides so good. We're, we're, <laughs> yeah, we're yeah, only a small Jake. group of people. You know, Johnny's only one guy covering the game. Not only helps us as a site, but it helps thousands of people to view the article. That's why you want to get the guest heroes yeah. to help us out. So big, big thanks Baldi. for that. Baldy17. No, again, thanks again to Jason Butler and Retro Mikey for your questions. They are constantly appreciated. Thanks again, Retro Mikey, for the email regarding feedback again this week. I do hope somebody got back to you, right? Yeah. yeah send him an email. Suck up a bit, yeah? Don't be a dick. Yeah. Don't be a cunt boss. All right? What? I'm not a cunt boss. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's about it for the plug. Same as usual. Follow us on Facebook, facebook.com. I didn't get the plug. Yeah. What do you yeah. the plug? You don't work here, fool. You're just a guest. But I get... I, fine. What are you plugging? Don't even say oh, my well, mum. <laughs> well, why not? She'd like it. Anyways, oh. and, uh, I don't really have anything, I guess. Oh, wait, I would like to say uh, hi to the child of the Mexican woman, because I'm sure it was born sometime during her trial. Oh, my God. Yes, he's already going <laughs> to be listening to our podcast, isn't he, when he's in chains? <laughs> yeah, what can you do? Facebook, facebook.com slash gheroes. We're Game actually before. started to post on Twitter at the moment. I, is it like at Gamers Heroes? Yes. And hashtag gh. Hashtag GH, yep. Yeah, so constantly giving giveaways. Um, we're going to have a new system in place soon to reward our regular visitors, which I like to call incentive-based content browsing. I thought that was pretty jazzy, but anyway, certain things are involved, and if you check back on a regular basis, you will be rewarded at the end of each month with gaming goodies. That's what we're all doing, right? The whole shit right now is about rewarding our regular podcast listeners with this animated drop episode. We appreciate every view we get. We'll answer every question as we can. Yeah, Ooh, let's go play some video games. Cover it all bases, motherfucker. Right, that's it. Fuck you guys. I'm out. Peace. See you guys. Bye. Fuck off. <laughs>